If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I uploaded this makeup look recently. It was a makeup look that I wore every day for a month and I absolutely love this look. But I wanted to see how this would look on somebody else. Luckily, my sister decided to volunteer for this. And we're going to experiment using exactly the same technique and the same products, but on somebody with a different skin texture, bone structure, eye color. Even though we're very similar, we're also very different. So I wanted to see how this would work. Now bear in mind, my sister is also a makeup artist and typically she creates quite kind of dramatic looks and also has like more of a vintage feel. So this was actually a little bit out of her comfort zone, even though it's more technically wearable, it's very different from her usual style. Is there anything you like? Mm, I think you look amazing. You'll have to wait to the end to see what she thinks and also the adjustments that she will end up making. But let's get started creating this look on her. So I did some basic skin prep off camera and we are gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow primer all over her lids. She has slightly oily lids. Now for me, what I do is I sheer out this primer with a little bit of concealer because my eyelids are kind of on the drier side, but she has oilier lids so we can just use the full amount on her lids without the need to shear it off. So I'm starting off with a darker shadow right at the lash line. Now the base is slightly damp, so it's really holding on to that pigment for me. Usually I actually apply a sheer amount of powder over my lids only because I need to set the concealer that I use to sheer off my primer. But because we're only using eyeshadow primer here, we actually can leave the lid slightly damp and this will actually add more grip. Now we're creating a striping technique because it's very easy to then blend. So we're basically applying a stripe of dark and then a stripe of light above it. Think of it kind of like a rainbow, a really boring rainbow. <laughs> Once the two shades are on there, then we're gonna start blending. And what I'm doing is I'm blending the lighter shades slightly upwards. This is going to kind of camouflage any hoodedness that you might have while also creating a little bit more shape. And then I slowly bring my hand a little bit lower to then blur the edges between the dark and the light. I'm gonna go in with a touch of my favorite sculpting product. If you haven't got this product already, I cannot recommend it enough, but basically this is going to create a little bit more depth and I love the kind of buttery creaminess of this particular sculpting product. And I was trying to mimic my own eye makeup while I was doing this, so I kept checking in the mirror just to make the adjustments on Trina's lids. I'm taking a touch of concealer under the brows now because I wanted a little bit more depth in that crease, but I didn't want to apply a darker shadow. By applying a lighter concealer just above this, it creates more contrast, which helps to deepen all the other tones. Sometimes you don't need to deepen, you just need to brighten around it. I then moved on to one of our favorite products. This is a cream to powder shadow, and this adds a little bit more dimension, a little bit more drama. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I know people are gonna say, why didn't you just apply this in the lid? It works great. I like having those different layers underneath just to create a little bit more of a shape. So then I can be very, very light-handed with this particular product. But if you were in a real rush, you could go straight in with this, though I still would recommend a little bit of the sculpting product right in the crease. We then did the brows and this is actually just for fun, just for the two of us. Just do your brows how you usually do it. But basically I was trying to mimic my own shape, even though my sister said that I made her look like a Disney villain, just, just a little bit. So just ignore what we did with the brows. It was only for fun. I refreshed the skin using the primer spray and then we're gonna go in and apply exactly the same foundation that I already used, the Armani Nude Glow, which I am absolutely in love with. However, one thing we noticed is that because Trina's skin isn't as dry as mine, this felt a little bit damp. So for me, it's very wearable because it literally never dries, which means that my skin feels very comfortable. But for Trina's skin, which is more on the oily to neutral kind of side, it felt a little bit more damp. So we did have to set it with a bit more powder than I would typically have to use. But that's why I love this Blank Canvas Cosmetics contour set because it means I can mix and match and create a little bit more depth while also setting the makeup in place. It also works great on camera too. I used the same blush and the same highlighter that I used. I even applied the same type of lashes just to kind of get it as close to my makeup look as possible. Now, the one thing that Trina really didn't like was the lip combination. We have a nude lip going on here, which I think looks amazing on her, but she wasn't too happy about it. She is more of a rose girl and I'm more of a peachy nude girl. 
she kept asking if we could change it, but I was like, no, we got to keep it the same, at least for now. Now, I personally think my sister looks amazing. She felt a little bit out of her comfort zone. She was being a little bit silly because that's my sister. She is, she is silly. This is her Fleetwood Mac pose. Is there anything you like? Mm. I look amazing. What are you gonna do? Well, what I, I would do is... She added a little bit more definition to the inner corner of her eye and also right on the edge of her nose. This basically created a sharper eyelid for her and added some more definition. And for the lips, she went with a little bit more of a rosy tone, which actually I can't fault her. It does look pretty good on her. This video was super fun to create. My sister just has such a fun energy. I can be a little bit more serious and she brings out my fun side. <laughs> wave goodbye. What? Wave, wave goodbye. goodbye. Wave goodbye. I thought you said wave goodbye. I'd actually love to create this makeup look on my mother, but that might take a little bit more convincing. But if you'd like to see that, let's get some good thumbs up on this video. And if I show it to her, it might convince her. But as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I wanted this video to go up last week, but as always, my illness kind of took over a little bit, but I'm slowly recovering and I do have an extra spoon for anybody who needs it. So if you need it, I'm sending it to you. Just keep doing what you're doing. You can only do your best and your best is amazing. And I'll see you guys in a video really soon.